Hi friends, welcome to this tutorial pack. I have told you that in case of NFA, when we apply a input symbol to any state, the output would be a set of possible states. Suppose we have to apply an input symbol to a set of states. Uh, in this case, we have a set which is having a number of states q1, q2, q3, qn. Then we have to evaluate the transition function. In case of set, when we have a set of states, what we have to do? We have to apply this input symbol to each state individually. Right? As uh, I have done in this case, I have applied a to q1, then to q2 then to q3 in this way up to qn so first of all apply this input symbol individually to each state and then second step as uh, we all know the output of transition function would be a set of states so whatever the output you get take the union of all sets so let us solve the example suppose we have this nfa here we have two options for state q1 when we apply the input symbol 0 it can either jump to state q2 or it can remain in state q1 suppose we have a set of states q1 q2 and we have to find out its transition for input symbol 0 so as i have already told you in this rule first of all apply the input symbol 0 to each state of the set individually I have applied 0 to uh, state q1 then 0 to state q2 and then take the union of the output which we get after applying the transition function right so when we apply 0 to q1 the output would be q1 union q2 now look at here here we have two transition for state q1 for input symbol 0 either q1 or q2 so the output set for this transition is q1 q2 next state q2 apply the input symbol 0 in this nfa there is no transition for input symbol zero so here we will write a phi phi represents null set which means a set having no value means empty set so when we take union of both the result would be q1 q2 right so it means when we apply zero to a set of states having uh, two states q1 and q2 in this nfa the output would be set q1 q2 right i am repeating it again whenever we have a set of state and we have to find out its transition for a input symbol then what we have to do we have to apply that input symbol individually to each set state of this set as I have done in this case I have applied 0 to q1 and q2 then whatever the result you get take the union of it here there is no transition for q2 for input symbol 0 so here we take phi phi means null set null set is the set having no uh, element when we take its union the result would be q1 and q2 set uh, this set has only two elements q1 union q2 right now what is the use of this rule this rule is used to evaluate the extended transition function as i have already told you that extended transition function is used to evaluate the transition of a finite automata for a a string of input symbol simple transition function gives the transition for a single input symbol but extended transition functions give the output 
means uh, give the transition for a string of input symbols and that string may have one or more than one input symbols here we are provided with this nfa and we have to evaluate extended transition function here the current state is q1 q1 is also the initial state in this nfa and we have to find out the transition for 0 1 0 string it means we have to find out where the machine would be after reading this string 0 1 0 where the present state is q1 so first of all apply 0 to state q1 0 1 0 when it reads 0 machine is in a state q1 when it reads 0 after reading the 0 the output would be means when we apply transition function to this uh, state and this input symbol the output means uh, next uh, state uh, a set of state would be see the transition of q1 for 0 it would be q1 and q2 because here we have two transitions for input symbol 0 from state q1 machine can either go to state q2 on reading input symbol or it can remain in state q1 so when we apply 0 the output would be q1 union q2 now we have to apply the input symbol to this set so in the as i have already told you in this set we have two states so what should we do we have to apply this input symbol to each state of this set individually so what would we do first of all apply one to state q1 then to q2 and then take the union of the output of both so when we apply 1 to q1 what would be the output there is no transition from state q1 for input symbol 0 so in uh, i have already told you here we will take 5 5 means null set now for q2 again we have two options machine can either go in state q3 or it could remain in state q2 so when we take the union of both the result would be q2 q3 so after reading the input symbol the output would be q2 q3 Now, we will apply the input symbol 0. We have to find out its transition for input symbol 0. Here, the input symbol, I forgot it is 0. Right? For this, apply, what should we do? As we have done in this case, apply 0 to first Q2 and then to Q3 and take the union here in this case when we apply 0 to q2 it will transit to state q1 so the output would be q1 right and when we apply 0 to q3 the output would be q2 so when we take the union of both the result set would contain only two elements q1 and q2 so after reading this string we will get uh, the output set having only two states q1 and q2 so 
the output of this transition extended transition function would be q1 q2 here the output is a set of two states it doesn't mean that machine from state q1 reading this string would be in both these two states it means machine could be either in state q1 or in state q2 the output set in case of transition and extended transition function contains the states in which there is a possibility of going the machine uh, means these are the possible states in which the machine can transit right so i am repeating it again here we are applying the string 0 1 0 and current state is q1 when machine reads 0 the output would be q1 and q2 now we have to find out the transition for input symbol a because machine reads a string from left to right when it reads 1 so we apply 1 individually to q1 and q2 when it we apply 1 to q1 there is no transition for input symbol 1 for state q1 so it will take here null set for q2 the output would be q2 and q3 q2 and q3 right when we take the union of both the result would be q2 q3 so the output after reading it would be q2 q3 then we apply 0 for so similarly as we have done before apply 0 individually to each state of the set first to q2 and then to q3 when we applied it to q2 the result would be q1 and when we apply it to q3 after reading q3 machine here jumps to state q2 so it is we write here q2 and when we take its union it would be q1 q2 so the output of extended transition function after reading this string would be q1 q and q2 uh, set of state q1 q2 thank you very much